I've got something super excited to share with you. It's all about free controls for .NET MAUI. Who doesn't love that? And they're going to launch while you're watching this video. If you are a frequent watcher of the .NET MAUI community stand-up that happens every first Thursday of every month on the .NET YouTube channel, um, usually I'm there, David is always there, and honestly, you should watch every month because it's all the community updates, blog posts, videos, podcasts, whatnot. We usually have a guest on, um, updates from the .NET MAUI SDK team, right? So that's everything you need to stay up to date every month with everything. But for the November one, David Ortnow was joined by Diego, Pablo, and Santiago, who are our long, long time friends at UX Divers. You don't know UX Divers? UX Divers is the company behind Grile Kit. Oh, you know that one, right? From the beautiful, beautiful designs that they put out there, complete pages, complete controls, they have their own extensions, they do lots of amazing stuff. And they are celebrating their 10 year anniversary this year, which is really, really amazing. I remember back in the day when it used to be Xamarin, they did Gorilla Player and all that kind of like cool stuff. Um, just go watch that community stand-up video from then. I'll link it down in the comments. But something more importantly, to celebrate their 10-year anniversary, right? If you celebrate something, then you give out things. That's usually how it works. Um, and they're making a set of control, a set of pop-ups available for free for the community to use. And pop-ups in the broadest sense of the words, right? Like it's always also toasts, it's also um, other things. Um, you can do all kinds. Actually, let's just stop talking about what it is and I'll just show you. Now, before I go into this, the really cool thing is if you're watching the premiere of this video on my channel, this repository, the NuGet package is being launched as you're watching this. I'm going to show you all of this, what you can do with it, what it looks like, why you need this. But as soon as you're done, you can just go out there, inspect the source, pull down the NuGet package and apply this in your own project. So how cool is that? Of course, if you're watching this later, this is all available to you. There might have been already a couple of updates. I already put in two PRs because it's not just free, it's open source. I saw a couple of minor things and I was like, I'm going to open a pull request to fix that. So here we are. I'm going to uh, put the link down in the video description below. It's all on GitHub, right? So it's all just right here. Um, there is this cool little graphic with the sample app. I'll show you that in a minute. And below that, we've got a description of what this all is, right? So we have nine ready to use pop-ups, toast, floater, action modal, um, uh, some other things, um, even complete forms, right? So you can do all these crazy, amazing things and you can implement your own custom pop-up if that's what you want. 14 animation types. I've already mentioned these people are designers, right? So everything looks super, super good. Um, and to make something look good, you need animations. That's typically how it works. So there are 14 pre-built animation types, and I'm pretty sure that you can use your own custom animations with this as well. All cross-platform, so it supports iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac OS, all the platforms that are supported by .NET MAUI as well. So you can use the pop-ups on all of these platforms. You can use it with MVVM and dependency injection, or you cannot, right? Depending on what you like, depending on what your project looks like, you can do all of that, but you don't need to if you don't want to. It's themable, it's lightweight, it has all the good stuff. Now, how to get started? Install the NuGet package. You can do that through the command line or just in Visual Studio, right click your project, do manage NuGet packages and find uxdivers.popups.maui. Install that on your project and you're already halfway there. Um, as with a lot of libraries, you need to do a little bit of initialization. So in your MAUI program, you need to add U uh, use uxdivers pop-ups to your MAUI app builder, right? Simple as that. And then to make it look good out of the box, you're going to add the styles that come with the NuGet package inside of your app.xaml. So here at the XML namespace, um, UXD, um, use this little thing, or if you're using the XAML simplifications, I've got a video on that, go check it out. You can just leave this out, right? You don't even need this. Less XAML, um, and you need to add these UXD dark themes and pop-up styles here, um, additionally to your other merged dictionaries that might already be here, right? If you don't have any others, these are the two things that you need. You can customize resources. This is optional. If you are like, I need this to be branded, that's of course something you need for my application. I need this to fit my branding that I've already implemented. You can override these icons font family, app font family, um, close icon button. You can do a couple of things here to customize the default pop-ups, right? But as mentioned, you can implement a fully custom pop-up if that's what you want as well. So you got all that, it shows how you do it. I'm not gonna go into that much detail in this video. I just want to show you what it is, how to get started. If you're like, I need some help, I want to see how to do this customization, let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to make a follow-up video. 
how do you show a pop-up? Very simply, um, just, hey, do this new toast, right? Build in uh, object. So do a new toast. You can give it a title because it needs to show something. And then you can say, I pop up service, right? So you can use that with dependency injection or not. You just have the static instance dot current, push async, and then put that pop up in there and it will show up automatically in your UI. Available pop up types, I already mentioned those. So I'm not going to go into that. And if you want to have your fully custom one, just let it inherit from pop up page. Um, you can have a couple of properties that come with that, of course, appearing animation, disappearing animation, close when background is clicked, right? So whenever you tap on the background, should the pop up close, yes or no? So you have some behavior coming with this. And then for the rest, you can implement your fully custom design layout for your pop up right here. Amazing stuff. Do we have anything else? Then of course you need to close it. So that's great. Um, there is much more documentation right here. All the links are here in the repository. So be sure to check that out. Now they have a demo app right here that is part of the repository. So if you pull this down, and open it in Visual Studio, which is what I did, then you will get all of this, right? So this is the demo app. Everything is already set up. If we look at the Solution Explorer right here, um, the UX divers that pop up. So that's the, really the core library pop-ups that Maui, right? So maybe they're branching out to other libraries as well, which would be super cool. Then they have the core. Now they have Maui. Maybe they're going to other frameworks as well, which is super, super cool. But they're starting with Maui. And then we have this demo app right here, which I already have running. So here, right, that uh, initialization line, use uh, UX divers pop-ups. Um, they're registering some things here with add transient pop-up, right? So that's a helper method that comes out of the box as well with a custom simple text pop-up, a headphones action sheet pop-up and a view model, right? So you can already specify the view model as well and it will resolve that for you automatically. No harm done, right? Super cool. I'm running it right now on the Android emulator just to show you what it looks like. Um, so here, let's let's check out a floater. Lightweight hint that hoovers near its target. So let's just do that. And boom, you can see it probably is very similar to a toast that we'll see next. But I think uh, going by the description that you can put this near a target, right? While a toast is usually like a complete full screen thing. So if we do the toast, you can see almost identical, but a little different, right? So you can mix and match whatever you want. An option sheet. So whenever you have some options coming out of here. So um, if we check that out, it's kind of like more your um, bottom sheet, if you will, um, with some more actions that you can do and a close button. Does it work if I press on the outside here? Yeah, so this has the option that whenever I tap outside, it goes away as well. You can press the little close button on it. And then for the other buttons, you can implement your own custom things. Action modal. Um, so this is kind of like similar to what it looks like whenever you connect your headphones to your device, right? So you got that uh, with a nice little graphic in there and you can press connect and it does a little thing for you. Um, simple text, right? Just a simple text pop up, simple action. So maybe you just need to have a confirm action, yes or no, uh, a list action. Okay. Maybe you have a little list. You want to switch the account for your social media app that you're building. And I want to switch to this account right here. And you can do these things and you can select the right one and then press switch and then you need to implement the logic to actually do that, right? An icon text, a little the same kind of like simple text, but now with a um, big icon on there and a complete form where you can capture like all the data. Maybe you want to log in, maybe you want to collect some details from your user and you can do all of that. Let's quickly go into some code. Again, I'm not going to go too deep. I just want to show you what this is. Um, so here in the demo app, we've got the um, view models, right? And we got this big main page um, that I actually want to show you here with the example. Let me stop running so I have a little bit of more space here. Um, so here is the big main page with all the tiles that you've just seen and they added some comments so to navigate this a little bit easier. Uh, so we got the title and here we have the floater, right? And they did this, again, they're designers, um, with like a border and a grid and they have a little tab gesture on it. So on floater tapped and on toast tapped and there is where the magic happens, right? There is where you can see how it gets triggered. Not so much what it looks like on the main page right here. So if we go to the code behind for the main page, you can see they're doing something here with on size allocated on a tablet or a desktop so that they have a little responsive design going on. So that's all great. And then on action modal tapped, right? So that's the action modal. This is the earbuds going by the thing that we are seeing here. Um, and then you can just say, hey, pop up headphones action sheet pop up. This seems some, something custom, right? The headphones action sheet um, seems weird to kind of like have out of the box. So if we're going to inspect this, we can see like, hey, this is just a headphones action sheet pop up um, over uh, inheriting from an action modal pop up, right? So that makes sense. Um, and it's just here. 
and we have a little bit of XAML associated with that. So we have this image right here um, and all the stuff that comes out of the box for this pop-up. So you can just create your custom one. And this is just lightweight custom one, um, just with the action modal pop-up is already pretty specific, but you can see that it already looks very, very good. You can give it the title, the action button, show the action button, yes or no. So you have all these optimization options. And the really cool thing is that you can have these parameters, which is just a dictionary of string and object. So you can put anything in there and you can pass that down down to your pop-up as well, capture them in your pop-up and do things with it, right? Depending on what your needs are. Um, I don't think it's implemented for this specific one. I'll get to one in a, a little bit later where it is implemented and you just have this event on your pop-up um, that will allow you to read the parameters right here. On floater tab, super easy, right? Super lightweight. Floater pop-up, title, text, and boom, you get a little floater message that we've seen, right? On form tab, so form is a little bit more uh, verbose, right? Because we need to have the forms right here. Um, and you can customize this thing out of the box. You don't even need to create a custom design for this. They just implemented a form field and you can just say, hey, items form field with an icon, icon color, placeholder is password, yes or no. And you can build a whole form with like multiple um, um, entries in there that you can use to capture. And then you can say, hey, get the form result, right? Which is a list of strings. So you will need to um, figure out um, which value was what, but you know that because you've designed this and then you can see, hey, maybe they, you know, press cancel. So nothing is here. And otherwise you can get the results from there and do your further processing with that. So that's kind of like how easy it is. Um, let me quickly see if I can find that one. Um, here's all kinds of cool stuff going on as well with icons and whatnot. Uh, for the parameters one, here we go. So here we have that other parameter sample and push a sync custom simple text pop-up. And if I go in here, you should see like, hey, on navigated to. So this is a custom event on the pop-up on the simple text pop-up, which is a built-in type for this um, library where you can catch these parameters and do some further processing um, if you need that, right? So. Super, super cool stuff. And as already mentioned, if you're watching the premiere of this video on my channel right now, this has been released right now. Go out to your project, go out to GitHub, get this, install this on your project and start using it. Let me know how you like it. Let me know if you want to see any follow-up videos on the custom pop-ups on how to implement this specific thing. Let me know down in the comments below. And from this place also, UX Divers, congratulations on the launch of this thing. Thank you for allowing to make a video um, to help you launch this thing. And um, thank you for 10 years of great collaboration, being great friends. And I hope that we will see another 10 years of collaboration and see where we can take this thing. All right, people, let me know how you like this. And if you've not got enough of Don at Maui and my content, maybe check out this video that is recommended, especially, especially for you by the super secret YouTube algorithm. See you for that one.